Hello and welcome everyone. And uh, today we are continuing on with our market profile series. And today you are seeing these three codes kind of thing. And uh, there is nothing. There are just abbreviations for open drive, open test drive, and open rejection reverse. Three types of uh, patterns out of uh, you can say five type of patterns out of five. Today we are going to discuss three of them, and uh, they are uh, quite. Uh, they have a lot of potential to give profits, and uh, their characteristics, and how they fail, and uh, how you can identify them early in the day so that you can start early you can enter early and enjoy the ride throughout the day so without further delay let's start so as i just said that uh, od is abbreviation for open drive otd is abbreviation for open test drive and orr is a abbreviation for open rejection reverse for the time being what they mean do not need to bother about that so uh, if i were to ask you just uh, Think for a few seconds. How do we, how can we rather trade a trend? And let me know your thoughts. So, uh, many of you might have thought the thought of your answer and uh, it can be buying or entering early or piggyback right <laughs> and uh, follow the leader or uh, before I think before all that first thing is to anticipate the trend. So not every market is trending market not every move is the beginning of a trending move first we should learn to anticipate the move. Second is we need to measure what is the conviction level of the players who are continuing or ensuing or starting a trend. If they are uh, like strong hearted or if they are just weak hearted and it's going to be a strong trend or sustainable trend or a just minor trend. So we need to be like uh, aware of the conviction rating. And lastly, we should be aware that uh, or at least we must find out whether trend is going to continue or it's going to reverse or the trend is over. So before reversing uh, before reversing a trend may consolidate, I mean, it may pause, then it may consolidate for a long period of time, then it reverses or it may continue also. So these three things collectively are necessary in order to trade a trend. So first we should learn how to anticipate it then we should measure the conviction rating and then we should find out whether trend is going to continue or not. So for today, we are not going to bother about anticipation. Many of us know that already and uh, that's a small task and continuation also we will cover in subsequent lectures. For today, we are just going to focus on the conviction. We need to find out if a trend is going to start, then uh, whether is it going to stay throughout the day or is it going, if it's going to stay throughout the day, how far it can reach and uh, will there be retracements? Or will there be uh, pauses in the trend or is it just going to go continuously relentlessly? So those things. So we are going to today identify with the help of the market profile, the concepts of market profile, that what is the conviction level of those big players or in market profile terms, other time frame participants. So these three characteristics we are going to observe. So first and foremost is open drive. In open drive, the key characteristic is the two uh, characteristic which stand out are uh, first market opens and aggressively auctions Auctions, uh, in other words, you can say moves or trades in one direction and it just keeps on trending in one direction, unidirectional movement, simple, no retracement at all. And price never comes back to opening range. So this type of bucket is uh, denotes, denotes to a strong player or you can say a big player who has already made the decision to take the market higher or lower before even market opened. 
So in other words, you can say that person, that big player took a vow that uh, he's going to take the market up or down. And uh, since he has already made his mind before market opened, so what we witness that uh, throughout the day, there's a strong and sustained trend. These type of trends, they hardly retrace. And uh, since there is no or almost minimal insignificant retracement, it becomes quite hard to enter these markets until uh, you uh, identify the okay, it's an open drive and it's going to continue in a single direction. Then you just enter wherever. Don't wait for the perfect entry. If you have that mindset, then yes, you can make money. Otherwise, if you are going to wait for the retracement, train is already gone. It's not going to retrace at all. So example of these, uh, let's try to find. Huh. This is a perfect example, 14 September, latest one. So market open. And uh, right after open, a strong candle. And uh, even though it's a big enough candle, and if you look for IB, then uh, on an average, average move of bank nifty is one and a half percent historically. And uh, recent times that percentage has come down slightly. So pretty much you can think that uh, move is over. But the next candle, it is staying at the top of the IB. IB is initial balance basically, the base of the day. So let me mark it like this. So third candle is uh, not giving us much of a clue. Even if we missed it, uh, missed the bus in the first candle or second candle and uh, third candle is not giving us any clue. The fourth candle, this revealed everything that is uh, going to happen in the subsequent day, the rest of the day. So this fourth candle, when it refused to come back to the opening range and uh, it closed outside the, despite having the wide IP, it closed outside the IP, then there is your confirmation that this trend is going to continue. So I'm saying let's, let's not hope for a magical return that uh, we will be entered to, we will be able to enter at the top of the sorry, bottom of the trend, bottom of the candle, and we will be able to ride through here. If we could do, do that, probably we'll, we'll be sitting at the top of the world. So let's not aim for that as of now. Let's say we are very, very weak in our conviction. We don't know anything about uh, market. We are fairly new and we are totally new to the market profile concepts. So I'm saying that at the close of fourth candle, you could enter because this candle gave you the confirmation of the day. And there's still 600 points left for you to capture. I'm using hindsight, hindsight 2020 rocks, I know. And uh, I'm not saying that you will be able to exit right at the top. Let's say you got stopped out somewhere in this retracement. Now is 370 points, is it bad? I don't think so. And considering that we did not know anything that uh, it's going to be like this, even if we entered the last possible confirmation, we still were able to capture across 350 through 400 points. So that's the power of open drive. It signifies a strong trending day, trending day and without much of retracement. In this last uh, 30 minutes or one hour, whatever they do, that's uh, that totally belongs to the big players. But yes, in the beginning, we can identify such days. Okay, let's try to find more examples, huh, this one. Uh, actually, I've taken this example, this 30th of August many times. So let me pick something else. I have also taken this and uh, let me find something strong downtrend or uptrend for that matter, huh, this one, 16th of June. Again, using hindsight. So IB is small. Let's check whether it's small. Yeah, it's very small. So small IB denotes whether it's going to be a trend day or it's going to be a extremely narrow sideways day. So the third candle, it basically revealed everything about that particular day. 
small IB. So one hour you do nothing. You, you can just chill out, make your coffee, come back at 10.15 and uh, rather 10.40 rather. And uh, check, okay, it's a small IB and uh, third candle, the next candle closed outside of the IB. So now we are quite uh, ready for a downtrend. And if you entered at the close of third candle, maximum possible reward was this 940 points. Not bad. Okay. Might be possible. It may be possible that we were not uh, confident enough to enter uh, or you can say hold till the end. Okay. Probably some of us got stopped out here. 300 points. Then if you got stopped out, then uh, you must have a method to re-enter. So let's say you re-entered again somewhere here. And uh, then probably 400 points, even if you entered somewhere here and you got stopped out in this retracement and you exited at the close, you still got 200 points. So there are multiple opportunities exist and you can trade accordingly. So based on whatever system, trend following system you follow, make sure that uh, once you identify that it's going to be a trending day, then uh, be ready to ride the trend, be ready to pyramid the trend and be ready to re-enter the trend if you get stopped out in some web source. Let's take another example because uh, it's most rewarding. And these days they like uh, come on average twice a month. This is strong open drive uh, days. This one. This is your IB. And the third candle, maybe not. Fourth candle, yes. Fourth candle revealed everything. And there is not much of a retracement at all. And if, if you held out to the end, you got 400 points. Let's say we were fortunate enough to have, catch 50, 60%. So even if 50%, 200 points in bank nifty futures. Okay. I want to take my sweet time on this open drive and uh, it will be totally fine if I missed out today on in this session on the other two. Because open drive is something that gives you a reward of the most whole month and uh, rather whole quarter in some cases. So I'm just looking for something obvious which is easy to spot, easy to understand. This one. So uh, first let me mark the IB. IB does not look very small to me. Yeah, it is big. 140, 1.4%. Roughly move is over. Third candle may not be convincing, but this fourth candle, this revealed everything. And uh, fourth candle closed, significantly closed outside. And if you entered at the close of it and you held on, there is your roughly 900 points. And in terms of RR, If let's say your stop loss was up to here, you got one is to two. For a trending market, that's good. One is to two is good for a trending market because in trending market, your stop loss is a little wider and uh, there are multiple parameters to hold on to your trade. And in a trending market, we don't want to be stopped out early because of the web stop. So we keep a wider stop loss. Then this is another example, 16th September. This looks like a narrow IB to me. Let's check. Yeah, it's narrow. So either it's going to be a very tight consolidation day, neutral day, or it's going to be a trending day. Third candle revealed it. Or if third candle was not convincing enough for you, totally fine. Fourth candle made it obvious. So if you entered at the fourth candle, 
you still got to write 450 points. And you will be able to write it. And uh, let's say you got uh, half of it or two third of it. So you'll be still be left with 250, 300 points. That's good enough. And you should be happy with that because you are not courageous enough to enter early. And uh, 10th June, is it, is anything special about 10th June? Let's check. 10th June also, yeah, can be said, it's not a strong trend. So it may not qualify as a open drive because uh, First, let's check IB. IB is medium. Let's confirm that. Yeah, IB is very narrow. And uh, on that day, market, even though market broke out, but it did not give a you know prolonged trend. So I think we still got the 100% IB extension. Yeah. So good enough. And uh, there could have been a reason like uh, on 11th could be some data worldwide economic news could have been there. So that's why it was not a sustained. I mean, it was a sustained trend, but uh, the movement was not that big. So you get the idea that uh, how an open drive looks like. So strong and sustained trend without much of a retracement. And uh, it's a high conviction when big players are highly convinced towards the direction of the market, we should never ever go against them. Next is open test drive. In this case, what happens that market opens and uh, it tests beyond the reference point. There will be a reference point, could be previous day high, previous day low, or consolidation high, consolidation low, or value area high, value area low. And then it uh, after testing it and uh, when it, when it says that it's going to test it, it actually violates it a little bit. It tests beyond the reference point. So it will violate it and then it will quickly come back. Very swiftly it comes back. So that's the testing that, uh, okay, if there is something on the, let's say if it's going to test previous day high, then uh, it's going to test whether someone present there to take the market for, further. And if nothing is there, then the big player, after confirming there is no one left to oppose him, he quickly takes the market in the desired direction. Since this player, this player had to make sure that no one else is present. Hence, his conviction level is slightly lower than the open drive person. Open drive person, he just made up his mind and he does not care who is going to the who is going to be there to oppose him. He just enters and drives the market in one direction. In this case, the person is actually testing if there is someone else who is present who can oppose him or her. And after the test is confirmed, then he takes the market in one direction. So of course, his conviction level is slightly lower than the previous one. So in this case, yes, there will be a test of uh, previous days uh, levels or reference levels and uh, price then quickly reverses and uh, sustains in one direction. So let's find out. So we can find value area also, Let, uh, but I don't want to open a market profile chart because the free version crashes a lot. So let me find it on the candlesticks for you. Okay, this one, 1st of August. Market opened and uh, this is the range and uh, then there will be value area also. So let me try to find the value area. This value area is based on market profile, uh, sorry, volume profile. And we can check it on market uh, profile also. This is 29th of July. Let's check it. And I was supposed to select the date also. So 28th to, okay, just 
one week. So we are checking for 1st of August. So this is 1st of August and uh, this is 29th July. So let me narrow the date a little bit. So from 29th to 1st, so that there is minimum information. Okay, so on the left column, you are seeing 29th of July, and this is the value area and uh, 10 POC also and uh, everything. And uh, then the next day, market opened, then it came back and uh, market opened, then it came back to test the value area. And uh, rather you can say it tested the value area high. This high got tested. And uh, it just not just uh, it did not just you know touch the level and reverse quickly. It violated it, confirmed and went for a went for a while that okay if someone is there or not. And after confirmation, uh, when it got to know that okay no one there is present, and uh, to bring the market down, it quickly reversed, and then it kept on moving in single direction. So this this would qualify as a perfect example for open test drive market open outside quickly came back to check if there is any other big seller present and when there was no one present throughout the day market just kept on moving in a single direction and in this case the best money is made when you enter if you can in this week those who are courageous enough to enter in this or you can say in this region or in this region the second candle wick they make the maximum money and uh, though it looks hindsight but yes with experience once you identify okay market opened it tested some previous day reference level and it starts to retrace or on that retracement you enter because by the time you wait for confirmation, which comes here, so by the time you wait for the confirmation, train is already gone. So for the beginners, they should wait for the confirmation. They must wait for the confirmation. And uh, as you backtest it, and uh, then you find your sweet spot around this, then yes, you can enter anywhere in between. And uh, your reward basically from 250 points, it jumps to 400 points. And if you can capture with experience, yes, you will be able, able to capture a lot of it. And uh, I'm not talking about pyramiding techniques. And uh, if you can learn how to pyramid also, then your reward simply explodes. So that's how basically this uh, open test drive takes place. Market will open somewhere. It will come back to test the previous day value area high or low or previous day high or low. And uh, in presence of other market participant, opposite side of other uh, OTF participant, it quickly reverses and then continues on in a single direction. So this is open test, uh, test to try. And this person has a moderate conviction because uh, this person is checking if someone else is present or not. And... Uh, then uh, early entries are most rewarding. If you can enter early, then yes, you can make the most money. Then there is open rejection reverse. Market opens somewhere, trades in one direction, and uh, then it reverses quickly. And uh, then after reversing, basically it comes back to the opening range. In open test drive, price was not coming back to the opening range. This is the the second point that you see here, a return to the, the uh, return of price, basically. The return to the opening range indicates that open test drive is no longer reliable, or you can say no longer applicable. So the difference between the two, first common thing is market will open somewhere, it will uh, test a reference point, and it quickly reverses. Now, if after quickly reversing, if it continues to move in the same direction or single direction, then it becomes open test drive. And if it uh, reverses in a slow fashion and uh, even after going beyond the opening range, not by far amount, if it comes back to the opening range, then open rejection reverse takes place. So market opened somewhere, tested, got rejected, and then again reversed. 
So that's a classic characteristic of a sideways day. So price returns back to the opening range and uh, this type of uh, big player has lowest conviction, directional conviction, directional conviction and strategies for sideways markets are most rewarding for this. So let's try to identify such market. When market opened and uh, then uh, rejection happened and then eventually a reversal also happened. So basically market remain uh, like uh, trades both sides. It tests the highs also, it tests the lows also, violates them easily. Okay, like this one. In this case, opening range basically, opening range belongs to the first handle. Let's see. Let's confirm it here. Opening range in market profile. First 15 minutes of the day. Okay. Thank you very much. So let's say the first 15 minutes, whatever is the opening range. So very short time they mentioned. So let, I'm taking this as the first candle. Market went beyond the opening range. And then basically first it opened. First it opened, tested something here, then started to move. And uh, after the move, it reverses and comes back to the opening range. So this is a classic open, first open, a rejection, and then reverse. So open, rejection and then reversal. So this type of market, the directional conviction is the uh, smallest. So you can apply your sideways strategies here. Whenever market comes to extreme, take that uh, your uh, trade for the price to reach the opposite extreme. So in this case, probably uh, if you like, if you bet it for that it's going to be OTD, open test drive, the price opened and uh, tested something here and then quickly reverse. So yeah, if you were in a, for an open test drive, then you, in the early entry, you will make money and you will get stopped out in this uh, reversal when price comes back to the opening range. And uh, after this reversal, at this point, you get confirmed, okay, okay, this is not open test drive anymore. It's going to be sideways. So for the rest of the day, you can deploy your sideways strategies. So that's how this open test uh, Open, ORR basically open the rejection and then reversal takes place. Let's try to find, uh, let's see actually why this price came back. So 18th and 17th, we can check that here. So 17th and 18th of August. So price opened somewhere, then it came below to test probably the POC, Volume POC, this is VPOC, and uh, it did not reach to the, you can say, the value area low. So it tested the POC, some reference level, and then quickly reversed, and uh, quickly, you can say, got rejected, and then it reversed. And uh, by the end of the day, yes, everything becomes obvious, but uh, our task is to identify such patterns in the live market itself, because we are not going to analyze the market we are going to trade the market. So having such information is definitely useful. And uh, once we know that, okay, there is no directional conviction, we can simply avoid applying directional strategies like moving average crossovers or super trends or something like that. And uh, we can save our money. Let's try to find one more example. So market opens somewhere, it tests something and then gets rejected. And even that rejection gets rejected, it reverses. So this could be a good example, 15 July. So market opened, went up to test something, quickly got reversed and then eventually rejected. So opened, 
testing reversal 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 and then it came back to the opening range so in this case let's say if i mark this as a opening range so it took a sweet time to come back to opening range but it did came so at what point we can be actually confirm that okay this price is not uh, going to be in a trending direction so we got our theoretical confirmation at 215 close that means by 245 and by that time day is over okay now if you entered like uh, price opened then it uh, tested and it, it starts to reverse quickly then if you thought that this is going to be an otd so yeah early entry gave you money somewhere here you will get stopped out but you will not lose money and uh, if you did not get stopped out then probably here when price comes back to the ott you will exit because this is the criteria for open test drive a return to the opening range the uh, return of price to the opening range indicates that ott is no longer reliable so at this candle you anyhow exit and uh, for OTD also, you will not lose money. If you did not make big money, you will not lose money also. So in this case, confirmation came a little late. Let's try to find another example. One last example. So Actually, this also qualifies, but uh, that's a small test. And uh, in order to capture those... Uh, uh, we might need some experience. Not this. Price opens test something then comes back to the opening range okay this could be an example but this last candle this could be due to some news or economic events so let me try to find something more suitable this one price opens there it is something no not this one not this one this uh, twice of rejection two times rejection happened then it reversed so three times so multiple reversals something which is like more of an obvious example to understand the theory Okay, this one, 31st January. Let's say this is the opening range, not the IP, opening range. Price opened and tested something. Maybe previous day high is little far off. So probably value area high or something like that. And then it quickly reversed. So here OTD got activated early sellers, they made money and then eventually price came back to the opening range. So this candle 1145, this marked the end of the OTD. And uh, after this point onwards, the only thing left is to either sell a strangle or some straddle or uh, that iron condor thing or deploy some sideways strategies and wait for the modest small, small gains. <laughs> So this is how this open rejection and reverse takes place. Lowest conviction, lowest, lowest directional conviction and uh, the strategies which are for suitable for sideways market, they are most rewarding in this case. So this is the barometer kind of you might want to remember. Open test drive, pure green and open, sorry, open drive, pure green, open test drive, something like amber and open rejection reverse, no directional conviction at all. So deploy the sideways strategies. So that was all.
thank you so much for joining and uh, if you like the con the content then uh, drop a comment like my channel and uh, subscribe to it and i'll see you next week thank you very much